What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ethan Gates with that eight. I'm here today with this video today. Double XL just released a freshman class, 15th anniversary. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I was disappointed at first. I was like hella disappointed. I was just really confused. But now that I really look at the list, it's decent. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely some holes in the list of people that I personally don't like. I know y'all like a lot of these niggas, but it's, it's definitely two that stand out that I really don't like. New to this channel, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. 1.5K. You know what I'm saying? Join the family. Let's build. Let's grow. And we finna get into it, man. First off, the biggest. Let's talk about. Let's talk about the negatives. Okay, the double sell list. Nardo Wick. This nigga is not good. He's not. This nigga is not sweet. He rap like he fucking. He's singing the alphabet, my nigga. He's not sweet. Every song has the same cadence. And you know what I'm saying like he's just not he's not gonna be bigger than what he was last year. He's not, I don't see it. If he does, you feel me? He proved me wrong. Simple. But I don't I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. You know what I'm saying like I just don't think he's that good. He's not a good artist. You know like he just he no diversity. You know what I'm saying like he gonna talk about the same shit in every song, nigga. Like the next album that he's gonna drop is not gonna be no different from the first album that he dropped. He had a lot of features on his first album that really saved him. This nigga is not sweet. For him to be on Double XL, and I knew it was gonna happen, honestly, so I'm not even really surprised. I knew they was gonna let this nigga slide just cause he got clout, you know what I'm saying? And that's really what Double XL is about now, sadly. You, you Back then, nigga, it was about like really rapping and shit. Like, you really had to have bars. These cyphers are gonna be damn near ass. Nardo Wick cypher is gonna be terrible, my nigga. Like, come on now, he gonna rap the same as he did a motherfucking word of who the fuck is that that come on now that's one person second person baby tron now come on now my nigga no diversity when you think of no diversity you think of baby tron and they rap the same in every song talk about the same shit in every song same cadence in every song and then now recently he's trying to hop on every beat and like it'll be for example the mask off beat He'll be like, mask off, and then he'll start rapping. Like, nigga, we know what the beat is, my nigga. You didn't have to say that, bro. We know exactly what beat you rapping on, fam. Come on now. So, them there's two people. And then, there's one nigga. I don't even know bro name. I'm about to just put his picture right here, bro. I don't even know you. He had like 9, 90K on Instagram. I'm like, who are you, fam? Like, I was just hella confused at that. Uh, the positives on the list. So, Fago. He deserved it for sure. Even though this nigga ain't dropped that album album yet, this nigga definitely deserved it. He went crazy with Knock Knock. He would go crazy on SoundCloud. I think, honestly, he probably like the best right now in the SoundCloud era. Generally, I'm not gonna say he my favorite. He's not my personal favorite, but generally, he's the best in the SoundCloud era right now. He has a good fan base. He need to drop that pink tape. He just dropped today, which is honestly funny. He definitely knew that he was gonna be on Double XL. So, that definitely built traction for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was really smart of him to drop today. A lot of people going to be tuning into that EP for sure. So, that's that's definitely one of my favorites on the uh, list. Another positive on the list was Babyface Ray. You know what I'm saying? Like, he been working for a minute, nigga. I went to an HBCU. A lot of Detroit people went to my school. And as soon as I got there, 2017, niggas just playing Babyface Ray. I did not know this nigga. You know, every Detroit nigga, in my opinion, sounds the same. He had a distinct sound, you know what I'm saying? He, he don't sound like everybody else. He don't got the same cadence as everybody else. And he just really make you want to get money, you know what I'm saying? He make you want to get that fucking money, like simple. Babyface Ray is a great selection. I feel like he will have an amazing cypher. I'm definitely looking forward to his. I'm really, like, happy for him for sure. He definitely getting that recognition that he deserves for sure. And, yeah, man, he been rapping for a minute, bro. Like, this nigga really been rapping for a grip, if y'all didn't know, bro. This nigga been really grinding. So, it's really good to see that he getting the recognition that he deserves. Another positive on the list, uh, Big 30. I'm happy for him. I kind of feel like he got it, honestly. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm saying this, but I, I think he got it because Pooh D in jail. But Big 30 was a good selection for this list. <laughs> He definitely bring that Southern sound. You know what I'm saying? I think he the only nigga that got that Southern sound that's on this list. And um, that that's, that brings diversity to the to the class, this this class. So I'm really happy for that. The other niggas, I really don't know. I really don't care to talk about them. But the, the huge, 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 huge problem that I have with this list is the fact that Kaylin For Real For Real is not on this list. 
Never Lose You itself. Better than any nigga, any any of these niggas songs. You could put Never Lose You against any of these niggas number one songs. And I promise you Never Lose You is way better, my nigga. It's crazy. Like that's he he the most talented out of that whole vote for the 10th spot. He was the most talented on that list, bro. That's what really got me salty. And I'm not really surprised that he not on the list because double XL do this shit. They love to just throw out a random ass nigga. For example, I don't even know bro name. I'm about to put the picture right here, bro. I don't even know this nigga fam. They always put a random nigga and he never breaks out. I don't see bro breaking out. I don't even know this nigga. He has 90k on Instagram. Kalen for real for real got snubbed so bad. Like it's really sickening for real. Like I'm honestly very, very disappointed. Another person that I thought I was gonna make the list was Autumn. Even though I don't even listen to bro, I thought that he could have snuck in for real. But you know, Sofego was probably the only SoundCloud artist that made it. So it kind of made sense to not have two SoundCloud artists on the list. But yeah, let me know y'all thoughts on a double XL list, man. I'm not really fully disappointed. Out of 10, I'll probably give it a six. The Cyphers aren't going to be good. They haven't been good since, I don't even think 2016 Cyphers were good. Y'all niggas was hyping them up. <laughs> for real, for real. I think the best Cypher was probably like 2012, 2011, man. Thank y'all for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below what y'all think about the list. Comment down below who got snubbed, man. Kalen for real, for real was a huge, enormous snub. I don't, I don't get why they didn't put him on the list, man. Thank y'all for watching. More videos on the way. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all.